What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out another video of my Lexus IS 300 turbo build. Uh, today's video, I got a few things here. Um, basically completed my uh, fuel return line for my uh, fuel, new fuel system. Uh, so I'll be taking you through how I got that line uh, cut, mounted, and routed. And I also made a cut for my uh, charge charge pipe for my uh, from my throttle body uh, that's going to be going down into the uh, intercooler. Uh, so I had to make a cut for that. And also I got a little, just a little present for myself, a little uh, TRD knob that's going to go in my on my uh, on my shifter just to uh, help uh, complement the uh, no chrome interior that I'm shooting for here. That's also a, a kind of like a side challenge I got going on right now. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be seeing today and hope you all enjoy it. So here we go, check it out. Okay, so today I'm getting ready to uh, make a cut here for my uh, charge pipe, running off the uh, throttle body here. Uh, I went ahead and made some marks, but it is pretty uh, self-explanatory. You wanna kind of hit this triangular area here. Uh, grind that piece out because you will need to have your uh, charge pipe here. I feel like it's going to sit down in there somewhat like so, right there. And with the coupler, it'll match up. So I'm going to get cracking and grind away, see how it works. Okay, so here's my cut. Pretty much lined up where I wanted it to be. Um, one thing I'm going to have to do is get some kind of uh, rubber lining or as a friend stated to me, uh, some door edge which will go around this and kind of just give it some protection so that the charge pipe doesn't uh, vibrate or rattle against it. And yeah, I put these towels around to protect the wires when I was grinding. Uh, not sure if it was absolutely necessary or not, but it was safe. Uh, I used my safety goggles for my eyes and I ended up starting out with this, uh, this grinder right here and the blade got too big and I went down to an angled grinder to get my corners and everything worked out pretty good and I filed down my edges so I don't have any sharp pieces. So, so far so good, just gotta get some liner. Okay, so I went ahead and just mocked up and test fitted my uh, charge pipe here. It's gonna have the uh, blow off valve and the mass airflow sensor right there, blow off valve here. Uh, but it looks like things lined up pretty good. I got the, uh, the hole looking pretty good right there. I think once things are tightened up and uh, everything is together, uh, there won't be any banging around, it'll be a little more sturdy, but I just got the towels around so I'm not messing up my uh, pipe here on the on the edges, so just to see, but it looks like everything's good. I might run into a problem with some knocking right there and possibly here on the uh, ABS side of things, but not too worried about that. I think once everything's tightened down uh, and in place, it'll kind of settle in and I think it'll find its home, but yeah, pleased with the result so far, looks like it's going to work out. Okay, so what I'm also doing in this video is uh, I'm gonna hook up my uh, return uh, fuel line. And I already got it hooked up here from previous video, uh, but I am gonna run my line now and hook it up to my fuel pressure regulator. So basically, <clears throat> give you a little shot here. So it comes down here, and this is the line right here, but there's a little uh, panel right here that I'm gonna slide it through, uh, and that goes all the way down. The panel does anyways and basically there was already a, a cut right here uh, not an intentional cut but something already made a hole and so I'm gonna go through there and then slide it up to the top here and as you can see I have a shit ton of length here still so I'm gonna make a cut for my uh, fitment down under uh, place a new fitting on there and hook it up and probably tight down a little tighter underneath and call that a day on that part. All right, so I went ahead and made my uh, length cut. Uh, it's about eight and a half feet, maybe a little more, but if you're curious about how much length you need from your fuel tank to fuel pressure regulator, I would say about eight and a half to nine feet, depending on where you place your fuel pressure regulator. But mine is about eight and a half. So we're going to go ahead and put the fitting on and go ahead and get it all hooked up. Okay, both fittings are on. Time to install. Okay, so I got the fuel return line hooked up here, down here. Uh, I ended up having to turn my fuel pressure regulator around uh, so I could fit my fuel pressure sensor. 
because it wouldn't go that way. So this was originally flipped this way. I had to turn it around, switch my sides on my fitting so that this can fit. Barely made it over the shock tower. Um, and as well, I had to use an angle fitting down here so I could clear that area too. I can still get my finger under it, but with a straight fitting, it wouldn't have worked. It would have bent the hose and it wouldn't have been as good. So I went ahead and switched that and everything looks like it's gonna work out just the way it should. Um, it's slid under the panel, like I said, down underneath now. Um, no need to show you that again, because there's nothing to show really, it's all hidden now. But yeah, this worked out and concludes the, uh, the fuel system. I believe I'm good to go on that, other than just hooking this up to the uh, AEM computer. So, pretty hyped about that. Okay, so I just wanted to also uh, share my new uh, TRD shift knob. Uh, not to jump around things here, but I just got a couple things I've done. Uh, this was originally sold as a manual. Uh, it is a uh, official TRD knob straight from the dealership. Um, and basically, it was a M12 fitting, but I was able to find online an M8 fitting that went into an M12, because this is an M8. Uh, so I was able to source that fitting in there. And yeah, so now I got this uh, subtle but cool TRD shift knob to uh, complement the start of my no chrome interior. And yeah, should be pretty cool once everything's completed in here. All right, so that concludes this video. Uh, thank you for checking into it. And hopefully this maybe helps some of you other IS300 owners that might be doing a fuel system, uh, kind of give you a little insight and yeah keep checking back for updates on my build and hope you guys enjoy everything till next time thank you very much take it easy later